Right guys, we're back, it's 2024 and we're a little bit late to the party considering it's almost the end of January uh, but we've had quite a lot going on, we had a bit of a break over Christmas we ended up going down south, spending some time with family and then I ended up being sick for just a week as well so we're back, there's lots happening, lots to do so let's get cracking on with it Right guys, we're starting the video on a bit of a sad note you guys have been asking for a couple of weeks now in the last videos in the comment section Where's Charlie? How's he getting on? Where's the boy? Unfortunately, Charlie's decided that he's going to choose a different path for a little while. It looks like he's going to uh, sort of go for a career in the forces. He's not 100% sure what, what branch yet, um, but it looks like something he's going to do. He's also got a few other wee bits and bobs going on as well. So he's decided to go down that path and take a wee bit of a break off of the old YouTube channel. But... At some point, he'll be back, um, and you might even see him popping in and out at the weekends and stuff when he's home. So yeah, I'm sure he'll be popping in and out when he's here. Um, he might be away on basic training for a few weeks, but he'll be back at the weekend, and we'll probably see him popping in and out of videos. But if you guys are new to the channel, you might not know who Charlie is. Charlie's my son. We started this channel about three years ago now, uh, just at the start of the whole COVID thing, which we won't get into. But... Yeah, we built the channel with a Volkswagen Lupo. We started with a wee £200 Volkswagen Lupo that we bought. Decided to document it for our own benefit. Ended up posting the videos as public without even realising. And uh, they started to get views and traction. So we decided at that point we'd probably just have a go at YouTube and get a try. Which we did and three years later we're here. So obviously Charlie's been a huge part of that. He's done loads to help us get to where we are today. So let's have a wee montage for Charlie and uh, here's some of his best bits. So guys, this Fiat 500 water pump's failed, so it's leaking coolant everywhere. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and drain the coolant, remove the auxiliary belt, get the engine mount off and take off the timing belt cover so we can access the water pump. So that's the subframe off, we can now get it stripped and ready for restoration. It gives us plenty of room to get into the engine bay, clean that all up and paint it how we want it. But they're all for later videos. Right now, we'll start on the teardown on the back end. Guys, so a while back, we picked up a ton of free car parts and they came with two sets of side skirts. Now we've been trying to decide on which pair to go and we finally decided to go with the red ones because we thought that the grey ones were slightly too JDM for the Volkswagen. So we're going to keep those for the drift car. But of course, they're not standard Volkswagen side skirts, so they're going to need modified to fit. But that just means that we've got unique side skirts, no one else is going to have them, and we've done it on the cheap. And remember, if you don't already follow us on Instagram, check out the link in the description, because you'll get an inside scoop on the videos before YouTube. What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. This week's video is a little special because we're heading down to Larko Circuit to go see the Tar and Tarmac breakfast meet. But first, we need to clean the car because we don't want to be rolling up in a dirty car. That's just embarrassing. So let's crack on. Dad's already started doing the interior. I'm going to go help. Up, Roll everyone. down. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another YouTube short. I'm in the garage as you can see right now and I'm just about to film episode 4 for the Road to Super Series. But just before I do that, I want to give a massive thank you to Colin Furs. Basically, this weekend, my mum and dad went down to a wedding for their friend and they met the Colin Furs. And he sent me this video. Charlie, sorry to disturb you. I'm at this wedding. It's your blooming parents. A bit weird. They've called me. Anyway, they apparently you have been making some YouTube videos and stuff and I've got to say hello. It is me. I am the real Colin first because I, I know you question that. But anyway, keep it going. I've seen you've been doing a lot of work, so it is hard work. There's a lot of things to do, but keep at it. And in the morning, I'll have a look at them and I'll see if I can send you a message or something on YouTube with a bit of feedback and stuff. But you know, don't stop, keep going. This is a long way to go. It's a lot of hard work, but it's worth it. So yeah, I'm so happy that Colin was able to send me a personalized message and I will definitely take in all the feedback and all the advice that you give me to make better videos for you guys sitting at home. So I'm going to crack on with episode 4 for the Road to Super Series and I'll see you in the next one. Alrighty guys, so it's the next day. <laughs> okay, I'll actually do it properly. Okay, so it's the next day. Uh, yesterday it did start chucking it down pretty bad and it has literally only just stopped. As you can see, we had to do a quick little tape-up job 
uh, to try and keep the water out and I, I think it did a pretty good job it looks pretty dry in there uh, but because uh, it started raining we moved into the garage started uh, next week's video we're not going to show you that quite yet because we want that uh, to be a surprise do we? <laughs> yeah but basically for that video we're going to show you how to turn 50 pounds into 200 pounds uh, but for the now we're going to finish uh, fitting this door that's probably all we're going to get done this this uh, week this because it's uh, it's pretty great still and it's probably going to chuck it down So the first thing you want to do is remove any engine covers and just have a general look around and make sure that you've not got any fluid leaks. Once all the covers are off we can then check the rest of the levels and we'll start with the engine oil. Make sure when you're checking that the engine is cold and the level should be in between the minimum and maximum marks on the dipstick. It should also look clean and not thick and black. If you do need to top up, you can look for the sticker under the bonnet or check your owner's manual, that way you get the correct oil. Next we'll check the coolant level and its strength and the level should be once again like the oil in between the minimum and maximum marks but never over or underfilled. Next we'll check the strength and for that we're going to be using a coolant tester. These can be picked up from your local auto parts store for around 5 to 10 pounds. And if you do need a top up just check your owner's manual for the correct coolant or just top up with some water if your coolant strength isn't good. Oh! It was a spark! <laughs> <laughs> So we finally plugged in all the cables and the batteries connected that we nicked out the Alpha. Now we're going to see if it will turn over on its own power. And if everything goes well, we'll uh, clean up the spark plugs and see if it will run. Right, you ready? Yeah. Will it go? Should try. Try it. Well, that, that was easier than I thought. That was quite right. No, that wasn't even like, we did it before the camera was turned on. That was the first time we did it. That was real life. Yeah. This chair's going to break. Love it. I don't like it. I said, I wouldn't trust this chair. <laughs> just sit by. I'm sitting. It's just creaky. Look at it, Jason. It feels. <laughs> Charlie's got his new JDM bag. How sick is that? Yeah. Braid material. <laughs> Braid material on the front. And then it's uh, to cut a harness straps. So when you wear it, it's like you're in a race car. This is a crib. This is it. This doesn't look too bad. It's not bad. Oops. I've got a telly. We can watch uh, YouTube. We can watch us. <laughs> yeah, this isn't too bad. It's nice. I, I'm on the double bed. Well, I think we should rock, paper, scissors for it. Like right now. Rock, paper, or scissors. That's it. No fire, no. No, no meat, fire, no water. No, nah, just rock, paper, scissors. You ready? Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. I want the double. No, I just want. <laughs> <laughs> you, get, you get the single, I'll get that. I paid for it. It's, it's, it's alright, it's not a bad hotel. The bathroom's alright. That's right. Yeah. It's very, uh. It's quite dated. Dated looking yeah. there. Oh, we got cheese. <laughs> Soap, Charlie. Full length mirror, so we can like, make sure our home built merch is sitting right. Check the tri triceps. Yeah. <laughs> That'll get cut out. Right, don't put that in. That won't get cut out. That will. A few hours later now, Dad's had a little nap. I've had a wee nap. Uh, and, uh, jet, the jet lag got to me. It was just... <laughs> what jet lag? We're here. It's cold and wet. But we're currently in the queue just now uh, to go to the meet and greet. So hopefully we'll get to meet some of the drivers. Quite fancy meeting Jimmy Oaks. Yeah, I'm excited to meet James Dean, Dave. Adam, 
Thank you guys for watching Home Build Garage. We're gonna do an ender actually here. Make sure you like the video, make sure you share the video, make sure you tell all your friends, tell your mom about the video. And for now, I'll catch you guys next time. Be careful, don't fall through the roof. How many times have you got to say that? I'm just looking out for you. Right yeah. I'm moving ahead. No. Probably time to get a new owner the key though. Here's the keys to your new unit. <laughs> so we're not doing it. So there we have it, the micro. Clean inside, smells good, looks good, the tunes work. I think this thing drives great and I think it even looks great on the outside there. It does but I just want to know what the sport button does, man. James said under no circumstances touch the sport button. Who cares? Just press it. Just see what, what I happens. Can't. I can't. What if it breaks? It's not going break it. The CVT lights out. Everything's been out. It drives nice. Why do you want to risk ruining it? It's not going to ruin it. Look, just, just press it. Nothing will happen. I don't think we should. I don't care what you think. Just do it. <laughs> Dashboard or a cash guy. Hey guys, we are ready to get this Audi and Primer. Charlie's got it mixed up over here. Uh, this is Charlie's first time doing a full Primer job. Yeah, he said, yeah. I know I look like a professional, and I know that the quality of my work comes out like a professional, but this is my first time. <laughs> he has actually behind the scenes already done a couple of panels. Couple of practice panels. Yeah. All that wasn't even here, so. No, I done. Um, I needed the the phone so that I could go upload the video. So Charlie ended up doing a couple of panels himself while I was doing that, and they turned out really well. I have watched that paint about a hundred million times, so. Yeah. I should know how to do it. I do know how to do it. What mixture have you got in there? It's a four to one, but we've added a bit of thinners because the first time I painted. The primer is quite thick coming out, so it's quite textured. So we've added a bit of thinners to make the mixture less Just reduce thick. it down a wee bit. Reduce it. And hopefully we get more of a flatter finish so when we're sanding it's easier. Does it look a wee bit thinner in the gun this time? Yeah. It looked a bit... Nice grey filler primer. <laughs> it looked a bit... It looked thinner when we were mixing it up. But let's go and lay down some primer. Equipment. That was one of the free guns that you get with a compressor. Everybody knew that wasn't going to work. That compressor was second hand because we blew up so many we bought that one second hand for 25 quid or something. And it's going better than any of them. It's going better than any of the ones we've had. So yeah, don't listen to people when they say you need good equipment because you don't. You just need patience. Right, and that means we have to start it with his new exhaust on. So well, We could roll it outside, but... Charlie, do the honours. Let's see what this sounds like. Uh, it's still got a resonator on it, so it shouldn't be shouldn't be too bad. Really? I'm ready. Ready? You ready? Oh! Oh no, that's that's the heat shield at the front. No, no, no. 
That sounds good. Yeah, that heat shield's really annoying, but that exhaust sounds alright. Is there any flames? <laughs> no. <laughs> right, Charlie, take it in so we can get a look at it. Brakes working, yeah? This looks bigger. This looks super cool. See once we get the rest of the grey on it. Once the rest of the anthracite. <laughs> that sounds quite cool. That sounds alright. It's not even mega drone or anything, I think that sounds alright. Yeah. Guys, don't spend a fortune. Right, guys, don't spend a fortune on exhaust. Spend $17.99 on eBay, I'll send you a link to it. It's a good exhaust. That sounds good. <laughs> When it's a manual, that will sound even better. Yeah. Right, that'll do, that'll do. Because it's not even hot yet. Oh, oh plenty of fuel. Plenty yeah, there's fuel in it, there's fuel in it. But it's not up to temperature oh, no, yet. Oh, it's still cold. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Once again. How many points do I get for this? That we all get points. We all get points. <laughs> if you think I'll get the video, I'll even let you throw them. Yeah, yeah, you, you get one. If you score any points, I'll go out If you score any points at all, you're buying the so there we go as you can see me and charlie done loads over the last couple of years charlie's learnt loads he's done loads even rebuilt his first engine when we got our first unit next door but yeah He's gone off to do his own thing, so guys, jump in the comments, wish Charlie all the best, and yeah, we're going to see him dipping in and out of the videos here and there, he's not gone forever, and at some point, he will be back, so yeah, but that leads us on to the plans going forward. So, 2024 is going to be a massive year for us, we've got loads of stuff planned, if you haven't already watched the videos before, we've no longer moved into this bigger unit. We've also still got the one next door, so we've got big plans to make these two units work for us and the channel. Um, obviously, when we first took on the units, we had to do a bit of customer work just to keep the bills paid. We're still clearing some of that off, but the plan is to make the main home built garage channel all about the projects, all about the fun stuff, all about the entertainment stuff. And then, obviously, we've been flipping cars for years. To also fund the channel. The majority of that, the business side of it, the car flips, a lot of the, sorry, I'm, I wouldn't going to say boring repairs, but the mere run of the mill day to day stuff is going to be over on the Car Dealer Diaries channel. So, guys, if the business side of it interests you and you want to see more of the cars being flipped, you want to see more of the detailing, the, the sort of repairs on the sales cars, things like that, that's all going to be over on the Car Dealer Diaries channel, which used to be the HBG VIP channel. 
There is a link in the description for it, so if you want to check that out, head over there, hit the notification bell, make sure you subscribe, and all of that content will be over there. And then, of course, all the fun stuff, Turbo S5s, Turbo MX5s, all the days out of the scrappies, all the modifying, all the fun stuff is going to be on the Home Built Garage channel. So, if you want to subscribe to that, make sure you're subscribed and the notification bell's on because we are aiming to hit the 10,000 subscriber mark by the end of February. We really want to get there, it's about time, it's been ages, so let's get to 10,000 subs. So, obviously, with Charlie not being here now, I carry do all of this myself. So we've got a few people now helping out. You may have seen in some of the previous videos, Stuart dips in and out and helps. We've also got Stephen, he does a lot of behind the scenes IT stuff and he'll come in and machine polish a car every now and again as well. But we've also now got Josh, who's behind the camera at the moment. I don't know if he wants to introduce himself, he might be a bit camera shy still. Nah, he's shaking his head, but he's behind the camera at the moment. Josh is a great young lad, 22, 22? Mm -hmm. 22 years old, he's got a pretty cool car collection, you're going to see a load of that on the channel as well. Um, he's got an old Ford Orion, he's got BMW white body Z3, He's got a BMW 7 Series, a couple of other bits tucked away in sheds somewhere. He's also a lover of the K11 Micros, he's got a couple of them kicking about. So yeah, you're going to see a lot more of Josh, probably not in this video because this is his first ever video and he's still a bit nervous, but he is behind the camera and he is here helping. So drop in the comments, say hello to Josh, you'll be seeing a lot more of him as well. So one of the big things we want to do in 2024 on top of doing all the modified cars or the flipping cars or the normal stuff that we do is we want to start doing events and we are actually going to have our first event right here in the yard at the units and we are going to have a cars and coffee meet on Sunday the 25th of February 9 o'clock Josh? Yeah 9 o'clock till 12, 1 just a nice wee casual meet um, we're going to get all the cars done, we'll get some of Josh's done, we'll get the K11 Micro out, we've got the FTO next door, we've got some cool cars. You guys are more than welcome to come down, bring your car, park up, have a coffee, bacon roll, sausage roll, and just generally have a chit chat and have a look at each other's cars. So there we have it guys, the best bits of 2023, the best bits of Charlie, and uh, that's the first video of 2024, so hopefully you join us for the rest of it. Remember, if you want to see the business side of the flipping cars, head over to the Car Dealer Diaries channel, links in the description. And if you guys are interested in coming to the Cars and Coffee, I've also left the details below for that. If you want to drop us an email, let us know if you're coming or not. Um, all the food and coffee is going to be for Devon's Kitchen around the corner. Great wee cafe right on the corner, very reasonably priced as well. She's going to look after us for that day. And uh, yeah. That's it for this video guys, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe and drop your comments and thoughts down below and we'll see you in the next one. But that's it for this video, remember to like and subscribe to support the channel, help us so we can do bigger and better projects in the future. Hope to see you in the next one, peace.